Do you have hydraulic disc brakes on your bike? Have you experienced a disc rotor rubbing sound after braking? I'm George and welcome to Telvia. In this bike tip episode, I will show you how to fix intermittent disc brake rubbing after hard braking. Many new bicycles come today equipped with disc brakes. Disc brakes have a number of advantages over rim brakes, including better braking force modulation and better braking in the rain. The maintenance of disc brakes, particularly hydraulic disc brakes, is more involved, however. After using disc brakes for three years, I have experienced an intermittent disc rotor rubbing sound after hard braking. The rubbing sound goes away after a few seconds and the braking performance doesn't seem to be affected. When changing brake pads, I've noticed that the braking pistons, visible here as white discs, move unevenly when the brake lever is squeezed. To compensate, other piston moves further out and deforms the brake rotor towards the locking piston to achieve braking. When braking is released, the deform from the center position rotor pushes the piston that was moved too far during braking out of the way. This causes the rubbing sound for a couple of seconds after braking is released. Initially, I tried to clean the pistons from the outside. Braking generates a lot of brake pad dust, and I thought it may be impeding the piston movement. While the cleaning and exercising pistons by moving them in and out, using the brake lever to move them in and the tire level to push them out, worked for a while. But the problem kept coming back. I found that the real culprit of intermittent brake rotor rubbing are air bubbles in the hydraulic system. When air bubbles accumulate behind one of the brake pistons, the brake force transmitted by the hydraulic fluid from brake lever compresses the trapped air rather than moving the piston towards the rotor. This leads to a disbalance in the piston's relative position which in turn causes the brake rubbing sound when the brakes are released. To solve the problem, I had to bleed my hydraulic brake system. Brake manufacturers sell hydraulic brake maintenance kits. I use Shimano brakes and their kit. Here's how I do it. First, remove the wheel and the brake pads from the brake housing on the fork or on the rear triangle. Using a brake tire iron, push the brake pistons to a fully open position. Next, insert provided in the kit brake piston spacer that prevents the piston movements when the brake lever is squeezed. Using a two millimeter Allen wrench, remove the hydraulic system port under the brake lever hood on the appropriate side. Attach an extension for the brake fluid reservoir and the reservoir with a stopper plug. Next, I add about a third of an ounce of brake fluid and remove stopper plug. Now I squeeze the brake lever repeatedly and observe air bubbles coming out of the system. It is important to keep bleeding reservoir above the rest of the braking system to allow the air bubbles travel up to the reservoir. Gently tapping on the brake piston housing and brake hoses helps to move the air bubbles up to the exit. Once all bubbles have been expelled from the reservoir, remove it and the extension and cup the port. I found that bleeding brakes is relatively quick and easy and that I need to do it every six months or so to avoid the rotor rubbing and to ensure that my brakes are in top condition. Combining the brake patch changes with brake fluid bleed kills two birds with one maintenance shot, so to speak. I hope you found this tip useful. Please like the video, comment and subscribe. See you next time.